Speaker, I now yield one minute to the gentleman from New York, Mr. King, a member of the Financial Services Committee. The gentleman from New York is recognized for one minute. I thank the gentlelady for yielding, and I rise in strong support of H.R. 3370. And at the outset, let me thank uh, Congressman Grimm, Congressman Lobiando, and Ranking Member Waters for the work that they've done in bringing together a true bipartisan bill to this floor. The Bigot Waters bill was well intended, but there was unintended consequences. And some of those consequences would be absolutely devastating to hundreds, if not thousands, of constituents in my district who were devastated by Hurricane Sandy. And I would just state for the record that these people are not millionaires. They complied with the law, with all the building codes, all the ordinances. They never had any flood damage in their 50, 60 years prior to this, but their homes are devastated. To add to that, the uh, incredible increase they would get in premiums for flood insurance would be even the ultimate devastation. So this bill is absolutely essential, and ironically, it will actually decrease federal spending over the next five years. But it's important that we stand together to help those in need, people who complied with the laws, hardworking, blue-collar Americans who are proud of their homes, proud of their families, and want the opportunity to get back on their feet. They were devastated once. Let's not allow Congress to devastate them again. I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The gentlelady from California.